So, I uploaded this video a few months ago, actually, and it was just showing off some cinematic colour grading that I've been doing, but using only Sony Vegas's default plugins, and I got I requested a tutorial. So, here is a tutorial. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Vegas, and but this is not. I'm using Vegas Pro 13, but this is um, for any of the versions. And most of the time, on other people's tutorials, you'll see that they say, "Oh, drag this thing down, drag this thing up, crush the blacks, like the whites, whatever you want to call it. Go into the blues, add a bit of blue. Oh, that's so good when you add blue like that. Honestly, it doesn't. It just looks shit." Okay, but this is a really simple method that delivers great results. So, what you have to do is this line, you click in the center of it, double click, the blue square that appears, you drag it down towards the bottom right, and that's how you get your contrast in your shots. And let's see. Dragging it certain ways will make it, so this way will make it darker, this way will make it less contrasty. It just, don't overdo it as well, just do it whatever looks good. Okay, so this is starting to look pretty okay. And now, you can see I've got a lot of white on me, which doesn't fit in with the rest of the shot. So what we have to do, this little blue one up here, drag the little handle this way a bit, and then just drag this down and this is a warning this doesn't that little thing I just did there doesn't work for all shots um, so say there's a shot and there's a sky and that has white in it I would recommend only taking it down like and like that much maybe but it's because it makes it gray by doing it and because I was wearing a gray hoodie it just sort of fits quite well okay that's a good amount I'd say Okay, now this is what will finish it off and make it just look really good. And at the moment, you can see all the dark areas are very dark and don't look that great. And this is a secret to making to make everything look very filmic and yeah, nice. You take this little blue square representing the blacks. You just notch it up a little bit. Not too much, just enough until it starts to look very nice and you'll see that these dark areas have start, started to get a lot more dark grey oh see look that's too much there so then I would take it down a bit but basically instead of all the things being completely black they're now more become more of a dark grey which makes it look very filmic and cinematic like that. I can even do a bit more if I really wanted to. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Actually, that's a bit too dark still. So to fix that, I just lift this up a bit. Move it over this way, maybe. Lower this down. Make it fit. Okay, so that's looking good. And that's pretty much all there is to the whole colour grading part of it. Now it's just a case of doing things like... Actually, no, you can also add a tiny, tiny bit of saturation. But don't, like, overdo it. Just make it look a little bit more vibrant. Um, if you really wanted to, it's not... I don't think it looks that good most of the time, but you can add a bit of sharpness. Put it to, like, 0 0.05, so it's really minor, but it, like, makes it look a lot better. What else can you do? You can hold on. You can add a letterbox overlay, which just makes it fit the whole movie, anamorphic, whatever you want to call it. And come on, that just looks really good, doesn't it? This whole come on, that just looks like it's from a film. Look at this. Okay, so that has been the tutorial from myself, um, Sammy Legacy. I guess you can call me that. I don't know. Uh, leave a like if this has helped you out in any way, and subscribe as well. 
if you want, you don't have to, just, yeah, um, and that's about it, G goodbye. <laughs>